Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 45th tutorial in this course. In this tutorial, we are going to talk about exception handling in Python. And uh, we're going to check out a very simple uh, program. And uh, through that, we'll understand uh, what exception handling is and uh, why we need to use it, right? So what I've done is I have created a program that asks the user to enter two numbers, right? Uh, numerator and denominator, and then what I've tried to do is I've, I've tried uh, to divide the numerator and the denominator by converting them first into their integer forms because we've received the input using the input function. And when you use the input function to take input from the user, you get it in string format, right? So in order to convert it into numeric format and perform the division, I've used the integer function here. And uh, then I've stored the uh, result of the division in a variable called uh, res short form for result and then finally i've used the print function to display the uh, result right so it's a very simple program i didn't write it fresh for you guys because i thought that you know since it's so simple uh, let's just save some time so i'll execute this file and i'll enter 15 for uh, numerator and i'll enter 5 for denominator and i get the result as 3 right so that's perfectly fine the program's working okay but what if I execute this uh, program with 15 as the value for numerator and zero as the value for denominator. In this case, we get this trace back error, which you know honestly isn't pretty looking. You know, it's it says that uh, zero division error is what it has encountered, and you cannot divide by zero. Obviously, that's something that we know. And uh, even if you would try to do this in a simple calculator, you would get into you know something like I don't know what the heck you're trying to do. So. If you know that in your program you can have you know such situations in which the um, interpreter doesn't know what you're trying to do and you know it doesn't know how to deal with the situation then you know you can place your uh, error prone code into what is known as a try block so in this case if I have to do that then what I'll do is just before performing the division operation I'll type in the keyword try and a colon and get this statement you know the division statement in the try block and if suppose you know the, an error is encountered in this try block then we can have a corresponding accept block and in that we can use the print function to display a message not the trace back error but something that is you know at least a little pleasant to the eye right so i can display something like uh, you oops i have to put it in the uh, double quotes you can divide by zero baby okay and an exclamation symbol and i'll get the closing double quote and uh, you know if an error is not encountered then we can have an else block and have this uh, print statement you know the uh, the one that uh, was going to display the result for us uh, you know in the else block right and i'll put in a result here and um, a comma and i'll also get in a colon here right so yeah, I guess we're good to go now. I'll save the file and when I execute the program now, if I type in 15 for the numerator and zero for the denominator, this time I don't get this trace back, but I get the message you can't divide by zero, right? So if you are uh, you know, having Python code running in the back end of your website, then you would obviously not want your users to freak out by seeing something like this. Right, because this is intimidating. And in uh, all other cases, you know, if I would uh, execute this uh, file with 25 as the value for the numerator and five as the value for the denominator, it would do just the same as it did earlier. So it's displaying the result 25 by five, which is five to me, right? So that's it about exception handling. And uh, you know, there are a lot of different kinds of uses that you can have for this concept and uh, i just wanted to introduce you guys to the uh, you know topic of exception handling and if you want to learn more then obviously you know google is uh, the king you can search for uh, applications of exception handling in any language and you can pick up concepts from there right so i hope you guys had fun watching this tutorial i'll see you in the next one and uh, you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i'll see you in the next tutorial till then take care